I suppose the results sort of sunk in and it's, and it's sort of day two. How are you feeling? How's the squad feeling? Uh, well, it's uh, of course it's a good feeling to uh, come back uh, from Germany with a win. I think we're uh, all very proud of the performances uh, we we had yesterday. So uh, yeah, it was good. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, today is a new day, and uh, another game is waiting for Sunday, which will need all the focus we have also in the preparation. So. Uh, yeah, the emotions are still really good, but uh, fully focused now on uh, preparing the team for uh, for Sunday. In terms of the performance and in terms of the result as well, where do you think this sits in the history books of, of great Rangers, not only European wins, but just wins in general? Where does this sit in the history books of the football club? Well, I, I don't know exactly. I don't have all the results in my mind of the, the history of this club, but um, it's definitely for me and also for the players a, a very, a very good and historic win. Um, if you can see all the reactions we are getting, uh, so it means you've done a, you know, a really good, uh, good performance. Um, on the other hand, we also know it's only halfway, but uh, you know we're really happy with uh, with the result, and uh, you know we have uh, one game to be played at Ibrox, full uh, full Ibrox with the full backing of the fans. So uh, hopefully we can uh, make sure that you know this this win we had yesterday can also uh, mean we are we're going going to the next round because obviously that's the the main objective we have in this this tie. In terms of Ryan Kent, he was likened by Owen Hargreaves to Frank Ribery um, yesterday with his performance. You played against Frank as, as a player. Do you think that comparison is, is a fair one? And uh, his numbers have been improving recently, Ryan Kent. Has, has there been uh, much work on the training ground that was seen in the performance last night? Yeah, well, I mean, we we know uh, the qualities of Ryan. I can um, I can see the comparison uh, because um, I think they're both uh, playing the same way. They're not very big, very uh, they 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 move very lightly, um, and um, they can beat players in one against one. So uh, you know, I'm really happy for Ryan with the performances he's uh, he's putting in and uh, the the danger he he has when we were attacking. But uh, I think also yesterday, I think his defensive work was also impressive, and uh, I think he's becoming a better player every game. So hopefully we can uh, we can improve his uh, his performances and his development. But um, he's definitely one of the players who uh, who is stepping up his game in in recent uh, weeks. And um, Fashion Sakala, Kima Roof, John McLaughlin not in the squad uh, last night. Will they be uh, available for, for Sunday? Was that an injury issue at all, Gio, or uh, something else? Well, the, we, we brought the squad uh, to Germany uh, with the players who were available. Uh, so um, we couldn't break, uh, bring them uh, with us. But uh, we have to see today. But uh, hopefully they can be involved in the, in the squad on, uh, on Sunday. Um, one of the key things last night for me was the two key decisions that were given correctly because of VAR, one leading to a penalty and uh, one leading to a goal. How vital is it now, do you think, that we support the referees in Scotland that are struggling and give them that same sort of support in this country, hopefully from as soon as next season? Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really pro-FAR, uh, VAR, because it's... Um, you know, it will help the, the officials to... Uh, to uh, to uh, to get a good game. I mean, it's, if you saw the the two decisions who were made yesterday, with the first the penalty uh, decision and secondly the um, the goal we scored and and uh, the Leisman uh, said it was offside. So I think there are there were both you know vital uh, moments and changing points in the game. So you know you can imagine if VAR uh, wasn't there we you know probably wouldn't get the the penalty and 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 also the the fourth goal would would be uh would be denied so it shows you know at at, at critical moments in games especially deciding moments when you have VAR you can make it you know i think easier for the for the refs and also uh you know better for for both teams and in the game last night, Giovanni, when, when James Sands came on, 
we saw the team move to a back three and um, I assume to try and nullify the, the extra attacking threat from Dortmund with their substitutions. It seemed to work extremely well and with the number of good central defenders we've got at the club, is this something we might see more of and is it something we've been working on a lot because the players seemed to react to it and play very well on it last night? Well, we, did, we didn't play a lot. Um... Uh, this is the the second time we did it. I think in hips away when we put John Lundstrom in in the, in the back uh, the back four, we also switched to a, a five defensive system. But um, it's a system I uh, I used before. But um, you know, yesterday we had to do it because of the you know the numbers uh, Dortmund put forward, and we just wanted to have more uh, bodies in the back. Um, I think it's still a system uh, we can improve on in detail but uh, it's definitely one of the, the systems we can use if needed in, in games we, uh, we're we going to play uh, this season. Gio, you touched on it earlier, obviously you've got the game on Sunday, how big a job is that for you to try and refocus the players given what a magnificent result that was last night? I think it's um, you know it's uh, I think it's easy because we are now changing our focus to our domestic league and uh, you know we've been in, uh, we were uh, having good results the last games we played and we all know the importance of this game so I think the players as well they're um, they're in a good moment but um, they're really focused you know as I said before we were really happy with the performances but. I think directly after the game, we all also um, started our recovery for Sunday and uh, today as well. You know, tomorrow we will we'll be have a, have a final session to to prepare the team for uh, for the game. Then we travel to to Dundee. So um, you know, it's it's good. You know, we have a good performances, but now we want to uh, switch our focus to the to the league. And uh, we know uh, it's going to be a tough game on Sunday, but. Uh, we need the points, so we have to be uh, up for uh, for the challenge. And uh, I think if it's, if I see the players and their behaviour also after the game, I think we will we will be. And in terms of Dundee United, what do you expect from them at Tannadice? Well, it's it's. Um, you know, it's um, a team who's uh, and, and the ground is. It can be very, uh, very difficult. You know, um, the first game we played there this season, we lost, and uh, they gave us a, a tough uh, challenge uh, the last time we met at Ibrox. So um, yeah, we know it's going to be difficult, but um, we have to make sure we are um, keep uh, keep putting the the effort and the, the energy in games we we done lately. And then uh, I think we have a big, big chance to get a good result. But uh, you know we have to work hard and, and be, be strong as a unit. So uh, you know I'm really confident we can, uh, we can extend our uh, our form on, on on Sunday as well. Key I think last night was the partnership between Ryan Jack and John Lindstrom. Uh, worked together very very well. Uh, obviously, Ryan Jacks had um, his injury issues in the past, but he's highlighted his importance to the team in the last few games. Are you going to have to manage his game time over the next few weeks, given how many games there are in such a short period of time? Yeah, I think that's uh, especially with players coming back from from long term injuries, and uh, you know, especially with, uh, with with Ryan, he's uh, you know he's done really well the games he played, but um, he's also. Uh, you know, had uh, had issues with his with his injuries. So I'm I'm really happy for himself, but also for us, and for me as a coach to have him back in the squad. And if you see his performances, uh, the games he played uh, the last weeks, you know, he's been he's been uh, he's been really good and strong. And you said the partnership with with John is also important for for the balance in the team. And uh, so I'm really happy with with their performances, and um, you know they're part of the part of the team. And uh, you know the last games we, you know we play really uh, really good football, and uh, and we are you know really good balance and uh, recognize uh, very well the moments um, in games what's needed. You know we need to uh, high press or. Or, or stay as a as a as a block. Um, so I'm really happy where in in, in moment the the team is, and uh, for me as a as a manager, it's just um, very important to to keep the momentum and keep keep them working hard. And and you know it's uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, how do you say that. Um, 
to to keep this momentum you still have to work hard and to uh, to to make sure you are on this level you know there's no no time for slip up and uh, you know we have to be focused and uh, I think at the moment we are we really are in terms of Alfredo Morelos um, another excellent performance from him last night uh, leading the line uh, up against very very experienced um, central defenders um, again another who highlighted his importance to the team last night Obviously, you brought him off with a couple of minutes to go. Um, was that on the basis of an injury concern, or is he fit for Sunday? No, he was not injured. He was just, um, I think, exhausted and tired because of the, as you said, the performances he uh, he put in, um, not only uh, with the ball but also his defensive uh, uh, responsibilities and tasks. He, he did really well together with the, you know, with the others. So uh, you know. I don't think he will be a, a doubt for, for Sunday, I, I think he will be fit.